welcome back to the great purge of 2017. Today I'm in the office because today we're purging paper. So I have to start this video off with a shameless plug. I um, wrote a book, it's coming out in April and right now it's available at Amazon for $11 if you live in the US. Also Barnes and Noble, I'm gonna put the link below. I don't know if I should be like insulted. I think because it's January, all organizing cleaning books are on draft, it's, it's like 36% off. I went on there and I was like, $11, $11. You guys, I put my best tips and advice into this and it's it's called real life organizing because it's for real people with real amounts of clutter it's a like a plan to really get organized from the ground up no matter if you're living in chaos and clutter or if you're already pretty clean and organized i wanted to make it for like us hot mess moms, you know, the, <laughs> where we're just like, listen, we don't have a lot of time. We're stressed out as it is. We're not going to like pull everything out of our house into a pile and go through it and see if it brings us joy. While I loved that book, I didn't find it was realistic. I wanted to write a realistic book for real people who have real clutter and kids and chaos and, and want help to clear all the chaos and get clean and organized. So that is the book for $11. I mean, that's a steal if I have to say so myself. So I'm going to put the link below and here we go. Shameless plug is over. Make sure you pre-order the book though, for reals. And uh, here we go. We're going to get started purging our paper. So before we dive into my paper, as I start going through and purging as much as I can, I wanted to give you some quick tips and real solutions for managing your paper. When I was a professional, or I still am a professional organizer, but when I was doing people's homes here in my community, paper was the number one thing. Everybody wanted help with their paper and they struggled with their paper. So I'm gonna give you a few quick solutions that you can help keep your paper clutter under control without having to pull it all out and totally pull your hair out <laughs> while you're going through it. Solution number one is actually a tip from Organize365. I'm gonna put the link to her video and her blog below. Um, she has like a written blog, but she's genius. She's so great. And for her, she has a Sunday basket. And what a Sunday basket is, any basket, just grab a box or a basket, and all throughout the week, put your papers in it to deal with on Sunday, so it's a Sunday basket. This is a really cool idea. Now, I don't do this idea, <laughs> I just am showing you because I thought that this was fantastic and it's working for a ton of people. I'm gonna show you how we deal with our paper clutter. So instead of a Sunday basket, we do a magazine rack. It's totally the same concept, but this way it's like really visual in your face on our wall. So it's just for review, to be paid, to file, and so on. I'd like to say we go through it every Sunday, but that's a lie. But here's the thing, that when the to be paid, it's usually empty, we, we try to pay them as soon as possible, is paid, we can just slide it into the to file and we don't have to file these until it's bursting, until it's like a disaster. But this keeps us really accountable. So I love the idea of a vertical magazine rack to do your papers. A great option are these accordion file folders because you can easily add labels, they're portable, and they work as a perfect action file. So that's what we really need is an action file, a place where you can put your papers until you have a chance to deal with them. Okay, so now that we've talked about some solutions with the paper coming straight into your home, let's talk about how to store it, how to keep it, and how to purge it. Um, the most important thing when you're storing or filing your paper is to make sure that you have a short and a long-term filing system. So a short-term system is things like those monthly bills. First of all, can I just say, your electricity bills, your gas bills, your credit card statements, you don't have to keep those. As soon as you pay for them, you can shred them. Now, there is a stipulation. If you work from home, like I work from home, this this is technically like a real gig, you know, that <laughs> I have to like claim on my taxes and stuff. So because it's a tax write-off for me, because I work out of my house, I do keep all of those things, those monthly bills. But if you're not using them as a tax write-off, you don't have to keep them. But if you're still nervous and you still want to keep them, all of those tape, like all of those monthly statements and monthly bills should be kept in a short term 
filing system. So something that's really portable and when it's full, it's full. Go through and purge. A great time to purge is at the end of the year when you're doing your taxes anyway or the beginning of the next year and then you can start fresh. And it's just say like our phone, it says gas, hydro, we call electricity hydro here, um, insurance, our MasterCard bills, taxes, all the different type of monthly things coming in. Now those yearly statements and contracts, things like that, you're going to keep those in another place. Your taxes after you've done filed them, that's called your long-term storage. So I recommend having a little filing cabinet or some file boxes. Those are the type of papers you're gonna keep forever and ever. Don't put your credit card statement or your monthly bank statement in there because otherwise you're just gonna get confused by the things that you have to keep forever and the things you can shred and let go. Speaking of shredding, that's what I'm gonna do today is my big giant purge. So let's be completely honest, this isn't fun. You can put on an audiobook. I'm gonna listen to a Dave and Chuck the Freak podcast while I do this, um, but you can listen to audiobooks or music, make this fun, and I'm only going to spend 15 minutes. a check in here. I mean, I didn't even know I had. I got a huge stack of envelopes which don't need to be shredded, obviously. Look at all my paper that's going to be shredded. Um, I'm excited about this. Gonna have a quick shredding party and get rid of all of this totally unneeded stuff. So in just 15 minutes, I purged a ton of paper and found some checks. So definitely set your timer and purge some paper today. And if you haven't already, set up a short and a long-term filing system and don't forget about your action file or creating something like a Sunday basket to contain the paper until you have a chance to deal with it. So thanks so much and I'll see you next time. So thank you guys so much who have stayed to the end. Big changes coming here to the Clutterbug blog. I'm putting on my business pants. I'm getting more professional. My blog is getting a rebrand, which is kind of hilarious because I never had a real brand in the first place. I didn't have like a cohesive look and I guess I, here's the truth. I don't treat it like a business and I should, mostly because I suck at all that business stuff, <laughs> like following procedures, having procedures, setting a schedule, <laughs> so like uh, putting on pants, all of that stuff I'm not great. Marketing, graphic design, ugh, I suck at all that stuff. So um, I haven't been doing it and it shows. I'm not looking very professional. So I was contacted by one of you, actually a subscriber named Alice, who's a graphic designer, and she just was like, listen, can I help you? Can I, can I help you? She was so sweet and kind and I was like, yes. And then she's like, look it, let's do all this. And, and it's amazing. All of her ideas are amazing. She's like a marketing genius too and a brilliant graphic designer. So we're re she, we say we, she's redoing my logo. And here's the thing I love the most about it, okay? I, I don't wanna like totally spoil it, but I'm gonna give you a little spoiler. It says Clutterbug but then like the G's crooked. It's a little, it's a little off, kinda like me. And I just, I feel like, I feel like she gets me. I, I feel like I didn't want like a pretty fancy thing. I wanted something that kind of told you that I'm a little screwy. I got a couple screws loose. It's not perfect, it's not gonna be perfect. It's not meant for perfect people. This is meant for, my blog is meant for people who are like me that are just like insane in the membrane, you know, just like have so much going on and, and a little bit crazy, but we still want to have some order to our lives, but we're weirdos. We're a little bit of weirdo and that's okay. Embrace the weirdo. So she's helping me redesign the blog so it looks professional with like a, a hint of oddball. So I'm excited about that. Stay tuned for those cool changes. And I mean, maybe I'll, maybe if I treat it, maybe if it looks more professional, I'll treat it more like a business. When people ask me what I do for a living, which I get all the time, you know when you meet someone new and they're like, so what do you do? It's like the most awkwardest thing because what do I say? 
I don't, I still am not in the mind frame that this is a career or like a grown up career. And so usually I just say nothing. I say like, oh, I don't do anything or I'm a stay at home mom or I like moonwalk away. There are those times where I'm like, I uh, get awkward around people, right? <laughs> so I'm like, I make uh, videos about me cleaning my house. And it's just like, cricket, cricket. <laughs> and it just, right? And they're like, oh, you do, that's different. And, and it's just always awkward. And so um, maybe if it's, I guess, if it looks professional, I can start to, in my brain, think, yeah, this is a job. This is a real, Thing. It's not just me talking to the camera while I clean my house, which it is that, but maybe it's more too. I'm not sure. Anyways, thanks for listening to that big whole thing, but stay tuned because um, you might not care, but it's going to look pretty and I'm excited about that. I'm excited to have it look pretty because I watch these other blogs and they feel I feel like they have their crap together. I'm like, why can't I have my crap together? I want my crap together too! I at least want to lie and pretend I have my crap together. So Alice is gonna help me pretend that I have my crap together. So thank you, Alice. So anyways, I'll see you tomorrow where I purge books. So stay tuned for that.